I'm Bruce Shaney, and today in Homemade Science, I want to go back and re-examine some ideas about the fan card. Now, I used these in a previous video to try and show how Newton's laws of motion were misapplied in a children's story. The story is Dr. Doolittle and his friends escaping from the pirates by blowing into their own sails. Now, after posting the video, I got several comments offering suggestions on variations I should try. But let's start back at the beginning. This cart has a sail on it, and if it's hit by outside air, well, let's see what happens. The moving air simply hits the sail and pushes the cart forward. Now, instead of using an outside air source, this cart has a fan on it, and if I turn it on, the fan is able to drive the cart backwards, in this case, which is a really nice example of Newton's third law. The fan pushes the air forward, which drives the cart backwards. So now the question becomes, well, with the sail, air hitting it wants to drive the cart forward. Without the sail, the fan wants to drive the cart backwards. So what's the result if I have the sail and the fan both acting on the cart together? In this case, the force from the fan and the force on the sail are both applied to the cart. They are the same size but opposite in direction, so they cancel each other out. Now this pretty much guarantees that Wile E. Coyote is not going to catch the Roadrunner, and Dr. Doolittle and his friends aren't going to escape from the pirates. Now I had quite a few people tell me there's a difference in using a fan blowing into the sail than in the story where uh, they were actually on the deck blowing into the sail. The fan is actually pulling air from behind it and then pushing it forward. So what we need to do is change this around to more accurately reflect the picture. And so in this case, I'm simply going to use this little cart and I've attached this big balloon to it. So let's blow it up. All right, we have the balloon filled up. Let's see what happens. Now I want to try this once more, this time with the sail on it. So I'll blow the balloon up. Okay, our balloon's in place. Let's put the sail on. And see what happens. Ready? Now it appears it doesn't matter whether we have a balloon blowing into the sail or the fan. In both cases, the forces are balanced so the cards don't move. But that's not the end of the story. I have two lit candles sitting on the table. When the cart moves to the right position, the fan blows them out. This is telling us that the air doesn't stop at the sail, it's merely deflected to the side. So I'm going to replace this sail with one that I made out of cardboard. Here's a closer look at it. So let's see what happens. The rounded shape is able to channel enough air backwards to be able to push the cart forward. Now one last change I want to make is turning this solid sail around. Let's give this a try.
With the rounded side towards the fan, the air can slip around it and still drive the car backwards. All right, now we have one more change that I want to try. Now, the fan cart does have wheels on the bottom of it, and that pretty much restricts its movement to a forward or backward motion. But I thought it might be interesting to wrap the bottom of this with a plastic bag, keeps the water out of the batteries, and then we could try it in my little homemade pond here. All right, it's taped up and ready to go. Once again, here we have Newton's third law. The air is moving in one direction, driving the boat in the opposite direction. Now let's try it with the sail. Put that on. And turn it on here. Oh, all it does is spin. Well, it's not going forward. Let me adjust the sail here a little bit. If I can get it spinning in the other direction. What's going on is the air is hitting the sail and then going off to the sides. But I think we have a little bit more air leaving on this side, which is applying enough torque to cause the boat to turn. As hard as I tried, I couldn't get the boat to stop spinning. The smallest difference in the amount of airflow from one side to the other can apply a torque which is going to cause the boat to spin. Let's try it with a bigger angle. Putting it on an angle simply deflects more air to the one side. All right, let's see what happens with the curved sail. Now I have one last change I want to try, and that's to turn the sail around. Just like on the table, we see the cart being driven backwards. So there we see mixed results for blowing into your own sail. Now if we go back and look at Dr. Doolittle's sail on his boat and Wally Coyote's sail, we'll see that they are shaped something like this. So they might have been able to get in a little bit of movement by blowing into their own sails, but they would have been much better off to simply blow backwards. Well anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.